And we will also get some more input now from our studio guest, Eckhard Ernst of the International Labour Organization, in short ILO. Now, this is an organization which on the homepage it says uh, aims to promote rights at work, encourage decent employment opportunities, enhance social protection and strengthen dialogue on work-related issues. So walkouts like the ones that happened last week should be exactly down your line. Well, we don't necessarily encourage it, but what we encourage is that people get better working conditions. And clearly, after this uh, economic recovery, people feel that they, they don't see anything in their paychecks yet. So, hence these work walkouts, hence these strikes. So. Mm. Now, this, this uh, global walkout last week was also interesting because it was organized uh, using social media. Are we going to see more of that in the future? I guess it's certainly the case that uh, social media will help to people to get better organized. But on the other hand, what we see is that similar conditions across the world, and, and especially in advanced economies. So that's why you see these kind of movements uh, happening all over the place in the US and uh, in Italy and France, mm. etc. Yeah. They, they, you already said something very interesting, similar conditions uh, all over the world, at least in advanced economies, because obviously these multinationals, they operate on a global level in very different countries, very different, uh, different economic, political, social environment. How can they create common standards for their workers? Well, they, they sh certainly should follow our recommendations. We do co cooperate uh, with large companies in order to promote uh, certain minimum requirements, minimum standards in these, uh, in these companies to make sure that the same standards apply uh, across the production sites. Mm -hmm. In addition, what we do is uh, we kind of work together with governments to make sure that, for instance, free trade agreements contain certain labor norms, labor regulations. Okay, so this kind of support also by trade unions is important. We've seen an example in our report uh, earlier earlier on of a, a young mother who basically could only keep her job in a fast food company because she was supported by trade unions. And that is interesting when we look at union membership on an international scale, because while Sweden has the highest membership with almost 70 percent of the work has been organized in unions there, Germany actually ranks fairly low. Lower even is the United States. And in Turkey, where we just saw this tragic uh, mining accident, uh, unions seem to be rather irrelevant. How do these figures here correlate with the actual working conditions in those countries? Does high union membership automatically mean good working conditions? Well, unfortunately, it's the other way around. It's, it's the low, low, low uh, job quality in many of these countries, in many emerging countries, means that people don't have the means, don't have the capacity to get unionized. Uh, but in, uh, in, and you see that, for instance, in Germany, where the low pay sector has increased quite rapidly over the last 10 years, unionization rates have fallen quite, quite dramatically. Now, mentioning low pay, uh, pay, wage sector and uh, advanced economy, Switzerland, the Swiss voters, they have uh, just rejected a minimum wage of 18 uh, euros 50 because they say it would hurt business and eventually uh, low-skilled workers would actually lose out. Do you agree? I mean, what, what would be the right balance there? Well, I think that what the ILO does is we, we, uh, we uh, promote uh, uh, certain standards, certain ways of fixing the minimum wage. And obviously each country has to find out its own way. And if Switzerland considers that this, the minimum wage is too high for them, that's certainly uh, perfectly legitimate. What we do uh, encourage is that people, uh, that countries actually imp uh, implement and, and uh, make sure that minimum wages are being respected. Because in many countries what you see is that you have pro forma uh, a minimum wage, but it's not actually uh, compliant with. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eckhard Ernst of the International Labour Organization, thank you very much thank for you. being here with us.